Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mufasuke channel. Today we are going to create a basic 2D floor plan with Cadopia 21 software. Okay, first you need I will create a new drawing. You can click new. And I will choose a standard ISO template. Click open. The so next uh, I will use uh, auto mode. You can click here auto. And now in here I will create line. You can press L button, press enter, and then click start from this point. You can uh, use auto and move uh, to drag here for thousand. You can move uh, to the top. You can set into seven thousand. The next move uh, to the left for uh, four thousand. And you can press C button, press enter to close this uh, line command. The next, uh, I will use a uh, copy command to copy this object to the bottom. You can set into two thousand. The next uh, 3500 and then you can copy this line object to the top 500. We copy again this line to the left, I will set into 1500 and you can press enter. The next uh, we can use a uh, trim command okay, to cut uh, this uh, line objects and also at this point. Now we can use uh, offset command, okay, you can tap offset. Press enter with uh, offset distance 150. I will offset at uh, this line object. Okay, also offset in here. You can make this at this point and in here. You can offset again, but you can change this 10 into 75. You can press enter. You can offset in here to the right and to the left. Also, same at this point to the top and uh, to the bottom. You offset at this point. And the last we have set here. Okay. Now you can select a middle lines and press the left button to erase. Okay. We select again in here. We can erase. And the last in here. I will use a trim command. Okay. You can press shift button hold to extend this line object. Click. The next we can extend again in here. And now I will trim after this line object. Okay. Now in here I will create a simple door. Okay, first I will create line. Start from this point, move to the top. We can set into 900, and you can create circle from. Uh, sorry, we can create arch from uh, center point. Click at this point, move to the top, and you can move into this point. So next I will create line start from this point to the right here set into 40 into here 150 40 again and you can press c to close this line command you also can copy this line object to the left here at 20 and you can put line start from this point move into this point okay you can copy again this line object you can click at this point and you can move into here the next, I will use a group command to group these all entities. Okay, we create again the second door. I will create line. Okay, start from this point to the top. Can set into 750, and we can create arch again from center point here. And now we can copy this line object to the left of 20. Use a line command to plot line from this point into here, and to drag here we set into 40 in here 150, 40 again, and you can press C to close this line command. Uh, sorry, in here we can connect change from this point into here. Okay, now uh, you can uh, copy this object, lens object from uh, this point into this point. The last we can use a group command again to group these all entities you can press on that. Now I will move uh, this object from this point into here. Okay, you can copy this uh, door object from this point into this point. The next I will create line in here from this point into here. And you can move 
the last object to the bottom here I will set into 1000 you can use stream command to cut this line okay next I will copy this object from this point into here okay and now you can rotate this object from this point to the bottom here we can move uh, this object okay I will move into this point sorry in here we can change view into top and view in here view into top view so and now I will use mirror command to mirror this object the top here and we can use yes next we can move from this point we can move into this point Sorry, in here we can uh, use move to this object from this point into this point. Okay, the next you can use a trim command to cut this line objects in here and at this point. Okay, now we can create a simple window. We can type a rectangle, start from this point, you can set for distance. For horizontal, I will set into 900, and for vertical, you can set into 150. You can press enter, you get this point. I will uh, red line start from uh, middle point into here, and then you can copy this uh, line object to the bottom. Okay, now we can group again. This a window object and you can move from middle point into middle point. I will use submit this into point so you can click from this point into this point. Next, we can copy this object from middle point again and you can set into this point. Okay, you can mirror this object to this point. Next, in here we can move from this point with mid between two point. You can press shift button, hold and right click to mid between two point and click at this two point. Okay, the next I will change uh, color. Okay, you can select uh, this object and I will change uh, this object color into sign. So, they will change in sign. Now we can use a hedge command to create hedge. You can tap hedge, you can press enter. The next I will use fill and use it to color. Okay, in here I will set into this color 24. Also in here we can change into 24. Click OK. And you can use a specify by point. So we can select in this point, you can select one by one at uh, this rectangle on the corner and middle point. This point, okay. The next in the top here, click again at this point. Okay, you can press enter, click OK to apply. We can head again in here. I will use a pattern, you can use a default pattern and scale, you can set into 20. You can use a specify point again and you can select from this point. You can use chromos to zoom in and zoom out, and also you can press chromos to use pen so you can drag the object okay, and slide. Next, you can set at this point. Okay, in here, this point, you can select one by one to apply heads into wall. Okay, you done, and you can uh, press enter to apply, click OK. So, the next, if you want to change uh, this color, you can select and click at this point. You can change into another color, like you can set into this color, 30. Okay, so it will be changed in 30. Or you can set into yellow, you can click here and click here to yellow. So, 
or you more bright for uh, this uh, wall. The next we can insert text. You can use uh, M text command. You can tap M text. Press enter. I will click from this point to here. And we can set for text height into 150. You can press enter. Now in here we can set into get room. Get room. You can click outside to apply. And I will change text into another color. Like we can set into this color 30. Okay, you can move to center point. Next, you can copy this uh, text. You can click at this point, press shift button, okay, hold to move into another area. Okay, you can set again at this point and click in. You can uh, double click to change, like in here, we can change into living room. Okay, for the text, you can set mm, into, into kitchen. Next, in here, we set into toilet. You can move into center point. Okay, and the last in here, we can set into garden. You can move again into center point. Okay. The last, we can insert dimension into this uh, floor plan. You can tap D, press enter. So, it will be open. Option and dropping setting styles for dimension in here. I will set into an optative and you can click here active. Next, can change for arrows in here. We set into architectural tick. You can scroll down and for a linear dimension, you can set precision into zero. Next, we set again in four line. Dimension line settings. Okay, in here we can set color. I will set into blue. Here there is color. Or uh, is color. Okay, here is color. 150. Click OK. Next, uh, for extension lines, same color. You can set into 150. For offset, you can set into 2. Okay, the next. Dimension split is okay for gap and for text, you can change text in here. Text settings, change color and set into this color 30. And for height to comma 5 is okay for text position. You can set vertical into center and offset is 10 into 2. Next, text alignment. Okay, we use uh, the standard. You can click apply and click OK. The next, to apply dimension linear, you can tap a dim line. Press enter. I will set for scale in here into 150. Click OK. So we can start from this uh, corner point. The next, uh, you can unactive uh, for uh, ortho. Click here. And I will press shift button, right click, choose the mid between two points. Okay, you can click from this point to here and to here. We create again, dimension linear here. And then from this point into corner point, move up to this point. Okay. We create again from this point and you can set mid between two points. This is snap. Okay, make sure we got this point. Next, on this point, middle point, this, uh, this option again. Okay, and click in here. The last, from this corner point into corner point. Okay, now we can correct from this point. In the top, also use the same way, use uh, this mid between two point to select in the middle point between two point. Okay, click again from this point into here. And the last from this point into this point. 
next you can correct in the left here from corner point and use mid between two point okay correct again from this point into here mid between two points the last from this point into here and now we can click from corner point into corner point okay now we already correct this uh, simple for fan with uh, cut of uh, 221 if you have any question about this uh, tutorial you can comment below this video